seven signs God is showing you, the narcissist. Before I begin, please give this video a thumbs up down below so that it will help to get this message out there to other survivors. Well, we're on the topic of God. You may be wondering how God could let this happen to you or why God didn't intervene. When the reality is that God will rarely directly intervene in anything. And in fact, God's chosen ones may appear to experience more suffering than anyone else. Because that's what it means to be a chosen one. You're going to be tried and tested. You're powerful and strong. You were made in God's image. God may know that it is difficult for you. God would never allow you to go through a situation that you can't handle. That doesn't mean that God would put you through this, but God doesn't intervene because God is love. And love is not controlling. And the reality is that no matter what happens in this life, love always wins in the end. Because that is our higher nature. And if there are no lower frequencies in the heavens or after this life. Which is why narcissists naturally try to keep us down in a desperate attempt to prevent us from ascending to the heavens because they have this ingrained subconscious awareness that they are not going where we're going. But God would never do that. God is honest and fair. God is kind and compassionate. The narcissist did this to you because they are of a lower vibration. And they already know that they're not going to experience the ascension. They know this is it for them because they chose the path of evil. So they're against God. They're opposed to anything pure and good. They are devoid of light and love. So naturally, these are the types of things that they will do as people who are not of God. And although God does not intervene, God will try to reveal the narcissist to you. And God will do this by giving you signs. So here are seven signs God is showing you, the narcissist. One, they're inconsiderate of you. You want the narcissist to value you and care about you but they never seem to show any concern. And this is a sign from God that this person is not meant for you because narcissists really don't care about your feelings, wants or needs. It's all about them. It has to suit their agenda. The conversation must always revolve around about how they're so desirable, powerful or special because they need that constant stream of supply. They can't live without it. So they hate having to entertain anything outside of themselves. Two, they can't tolerate criticism. They only accept compliments and positive feedback. They can't deal with anything negative that you might have to say because they have a fragile ego, so they're easily hurt and offended. And no one really likes to be criticized, but a healthy person will at least see some value in it, rather than dismissing it completely without even considering what you have to say, which is another sign that God is showing you the narcissist, because it's like no matter what you do to try to fix things, you just can't get through to them. They're closed off. They're unreachable. They can never seem to understand. 
if you ever criticise them, it will cause a narcissistic injury and they will get very angry. And at that moment, it's like they're possessed. It's like a spirit has taken control of them. And by that point, there's really nothing you can do to reach them. Three, you experience difficulties or misfortune. This is a clear sign from God that something is not meant for you. If something is meant to be, it's going to be good for you. It won't always be perfect, but it will show steady improvement over time. While with the narcissist, things gradually deteriorate. They get worse the longer you're around them, which exposes all of their lies and future faking because then they leave you without any support and you're left to deal with it on your own which shows that they never cared about you. It reveals what type of person they are because by that point they can't hide it from you anymore. Four. You see signs of the emptiness inside of them. Narcissists have a void that can never be filled. They're like empty vessels. They can't be satisfied. And you may witness this emptiness just by looking into their eyes. They have this predatory stare. They don't appear to be friendly. They always look angry because they're constantly trying to take something from you. And they're just examining you to figure out how they're going to get it. They may act friendly and agreeable in the beginning, but that's just to get you hooked as their source of supply. The reality is that they are self-centered and insatiable. They only care about themselves. And yet no matter what you do, it will never be enough to fill the void inside of them. But we don't always notice this initially. We make up excuses and justifications in the beginning because we want to like them. So we do what we can in order to please them, instead of accepting that it's just who they really are. Five, they're envious. They will act like they don't care about you or what you're doing, but then they will do anything they can to outdo you. Whether it's by building themselves up or by tearing you down, and they will even use their enablers or flying monkeys as a means of achieving this goal. But they cannot surround themselves with people who they perceive as being better than them, because that would make them feel very insecure and it would prevent them from getting the supply that they need. Six, they're fake. They show a deceptive outward appearance. They falsely claim to be something they're not. And that is why you will have difficulty connecting to them because they have an insecure attachment style and an inability to form healthy relationships, which is why the healthier you get, the worse they get. Seven, you feel repelled. This is quite possibly the biggest sign that God is showing you the narcissist. Because if you are a normal, healthy person, they will be repulsive and distasteful to you. They will make you feel sick. You will experience stomach pains and body aches, and it won't seem to make any sense. But it's because you're in the company of a predator, someone who is ruthlessly exploiting you. So of course, it's going to have an adverse effect on your body because they're feeding from you. And it's God trying to communicate with you to show you that you need to limit your contact with them because they are evil. And they will do extremely harmful things to you until it changes you in a negative way. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section and hit that subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narc survivor 
You can book a one on one with me on my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.